my guest is Mike Nuraki. As we tell each story, you know, whether it's a story in you know, obedience or loving your neighbor or selfishness, what does God have to say about that? Welcome to Heritage of Truth. Today my guest is Mike Naraki. Did I get it right? You got it right, yeah. Okay. He is the voice of Larry the Cucumber and one of the originators of the VeggieTales videos, mm -hmm. right? That's right. The whole VeggieTales um, phenomenon. Um, when is the next Veggie, VeggieTales DVD going to be available? Uh, the next one will be available in, uh, in August. In so August. It's, and yeah. what is that one? Yeah, it's the so that's like. Almost right away. It's, it's, yeah, right around the corner. It's The Penniless Princess, so, uh, which uh, is a retelling of Frances Burnett's book, The Little, the Little oh, Princess. Oh, yes, I love that book. Oh, it's an amazing book. All the little book. girls love that book. <laughs> yeah, so we're very excited about it. You know, over the past few years, we've done a number of, of girl-centered um, uh, princess titles, starting with Sweet Pea Beauty. And then, yes. Uh, and so this one is sort of in that line, and uh, mm -hmm. we're just really, really excited about it. That's great. Well, how did you come up with the title? The Penniless Princess? Well, we wanted folks to be sure that we, they knew that we were, um, it's, it's not an exact retelling of the book, so we put our own VeggieTales spin on it, but really... Don't you always? <laughs> we, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And so, uh, but uh, the idea that, uh, you know, being, being a princess, you know, has certain imagery that you associate with that about, you know, having a lot and, you know, wearing fancy clothes and that sort of thing. And, and in this retelling, the idea is, um, you know, all of that doesn't matter. What really matters is, is what God says about you and, and, and how and, 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 and who you are to him. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, our, our character, Sarah, um, starts off at the beginning of the show um, with everything a little girl could want. You know, her dad mm -hmm. is very wealthy and, and uh, you know, he gets called to war, but um, she's, uh, he leaves her at a, a school for girls. And, uh, and, you know, I won't get too, give too much away, but she loses everything. She becomes mm -hmm. penniless. Um, but yet she remains a princess because she realizes who she is in God's eyes. And um, oh, so it's a, it's a very, so I think it's a really important lesson for girls. And, you know, it really, um, you know, shows us that, that we are loved and we can love no matter what because, because of who God is. That's good. Now, one of the things I told you before we started, and I want the listeners to know, or the viewers to know, is that um, I really appreciate the way you present the biblical principles so children know how to apply them to their lives. And my granddaughter is actually doing that. My daughter has told me, and so I'm very excited that um, I was able to interview you because I think it's important what you're doing. Oh, thank it's, you. it's really important to get these biblical principles to children in a way that they can live them out in their lives. Oh, well, well, thank you. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, I think story is so important in kids' lives. And, mm -hmm. and just the, to be able to identify with the character who's going through a dilemma um, and, and then to, to track with that character and see, and see how that, that person comes out on the other side. And, and from the beginning with VeggieTales, we have really wanted to tell stories that incorporate a biblical worldview that assume mm -hmm. God made us, He loves us, the whole biblical narrative of creation, fall, and redemption. What do stories look like told with, with that assumption? And I yeah. think, um, you know, as we tell each story, you know, whether it's a story in you know, obedience or loving your neighbor or selfishness, what does God have to say about that? And, and, right. and because of whose we are, you know how how then should we be? How how should how should we we act? And um, and so I think um, it, just just having characters that 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 model that I think is so important for kids because then they have a place to come back and, That's and right. point to. That's I, really I can be great. like this. So. Yeah, I mean even Jesus used the power of story in his parables with the dolls. Yeah, it's, a story is so powerful. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, a, absolutely. You know, our lives are stories, and um, mm -hmm. so that's you know that that's how we experience the world, how we experience God, and so mm -hmm. um, being able to, to relate relate that uh, relate a lesson to a child in story, I think, is really powerful. 
Yes, absolutely. Who are the key VeggieTales characters in this new video, and what roles do they play? And are there any new characters? Yes, there are new characters. Um, uh, we have a few few new characters. Sarah herself, the the, the lead uh, character, is, is a new character. She has a little friend, Ermengarde, you know, also from the book. Right. Um, she's a new character. Uh, and then um, uh, a cat, we have a little dog too, Soleil. <laughs> so he's a, he's a new character. In the original book, there was a little monkey, you know, mm -hmm. character. Yes. Uh, but we we you know changed it up a little bit, so it's a little French poodle. Uh, because uh, the two butlers on the other side are French, um, and so uh, so those are our new characters. But then Larry, Larry's there, and Bob's there, Junior's there. So all of our favorite VeggieTales uh, characters are there. Okay, okay. I've got to ask you: when you make the voice of Larry the cucumber, because mm -hmm. he is the voice of Larry the cucumber, um, is it is it hard on your voice? You know, it's really not. <laughs> you know, maybe at eight o'clock in the morning, it's a little more difficult. <laughs> but it's generally pretty easy. So it's funny because um, it's a very it's a very comfortable voice for me to do, and so I can I can actually you know I, I've been on the radio for like two hours you know as Larry before just straight and and oh, I, wow. it, it holds up pretty well. So um, it's I, I think it's because. You know, it's a very nasally voice, you know, so I'm not really straining my vocal cords too much. So, but when I, uh, Larry's superhero alter ego, Larry Boy, gets a little more gravelly. Larry Boy, you know, so it's Larry, but a little more gravelly. You know, that that will actually, you know, I can't s speak too long like that without, right. it, without it bothering me. But no, it's a very comfortable voice for me to do. Well, that's great. Well, with this new video, what Bible verses or Bible stories does it use to relate the message? Well, we use both uh, the story of Joseph uh, in the Old Testament, um, a character uh, who had, who, who came from great abundance and, and lost everything, and he serves mm -hmm. as a, as Sarah reads his story within, uh, within the story, um, she's, she's inspired by, by, uh, by Joseph's story, and so that's, that's one thing that we, we use. And then also, with every VeggieTales episode, um, at the very end, we come back to a key Bible verse, and on um, this one, it's Romans 8.39, which just states that nothing can separate us from God's love. And that's, that's the, the key part of our story, that no matter what, uh, whether in good times or in bad, God loves us. And so uh, we can love others uh, also, no matter what. Great. Good verse. Are you partnering with a nonprofit in this project? Well, we're partnering with MOPS. Um, so, which is, you know, which is, oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah. we've, we've loved being uh, involved with MOPS all these years and American Heritage Girls. And so, um, so, and, and with, with our past uh, uh, princess stories, we've, we've partnered with these, you know, with these uh, ministries who, uh, who really serve, yeah, you know, serve girls. And so it's really, it's really a wonderful partnership. Is there a new ceiling song for this? Oh yeah, it's there's a new silly song. There's always a silly song, and this one is really fun because um, well, I have a daughter myself. My daughter is uh, is 14 now. I can't believe I'm saying that. So she just had a birthday not long ago. So she's a full fledged teenager. But um, uh, and but you know for a number of years, texting has always been you know a part of you know what she's done. And so uh, th this new song is is for for little girls. It's called uh, Best Friends Forever. And so it's mm -hmm. a it's a texting a texting song. So she's it's two girls uh, texting and singing to each other. So it's it's oh, really funny. funny. <laughs> so. What makes the biblical worldview so pertinent in light of today's media culture, especially as it relates to Big Ideas' overall mission? Well. Um, I, you know, I think the, the media gives us uh, constantly um, the, the message of it's, it's all about uh, what makes you feel good, it's all about, it's all about you, it's all about, um, uh, you know, more, more selfish means, or more, more selfish things. And, you know, I think, I think for kids, you know, that, that lesson that God made us, He loves us, um, our lives should be about uh, glorifying him and serving others is just a really important lesson for kids. It's not. It's not about us. It's about you know. It's about yeah, God. And it's about children others. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we all are. You know, <laughs> and so we all are, and it's just a really important. You know, it's important for us to be reminded. And you know, like we we talked about through story that mm -hmm. yeah, this is you know this is the world that God created. Uh, this is who we are in this world um, as it relates to who He created us to be. Mm -hmm. 
is there anything else on the horizon coming up? That well, funny you should ask. <laughs> This is the League of Incredible Vegetables. So, uh, you know, this is the shirt I have. I didn't have my Pennyless Princess shirt to put on this morning, but um, it would probably be pink anyway, so I don't know if it looked good, <laughs> in me, good on me. But um, uh, League of Incredible Vegetables, it's uh, the return of Larry Boy uh, plus uh, Bob gets to be a superhero and, and Petunia is a superhero and Mr. Lunt and Junior. Um, so it's sort of a VeggieTales Avengers, if you will. So, um, and that's, that's exciting. So that's coming out in October. So we're... Um, very excited about that, the return of Larry Boy. The return of Larry Boy. <laughs> the return of Larry Boy. That's right, <laughs> in a rough voice. <laughs> cool. That sounds really great. Well, where can people find you? And as, I mean, I think most people know, but okay, well, just sure. go ahead and tell us where they can find you online. Uh, and... Folks can go to VeggieTales.com, okay. www.VeggieTales.com, and, uh, and you know for information about all of our videos. Plus, it's a great destination for kids to uh, play games. We have a lot of online games. And, you know, Great. just, just you know, to, to learn more about VeggieTales. Okay, and they can find VeggieTales in every Christian bookstore. That's right. And online. That's right. Christianbook.com yeah. and yeah. Um, all the others. Yeah, and wherever videos are sold. That's yeah. right. That's right. Well, I just want to applaud you guys for what you've been doing, and especially the direction that you're taking it. it oh. It's really been good. And um, thank, you. thank you so much for being my guest. Well, thank you, Jean. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Believers to live